Good evening, Barack. I really hope that you don't mind my referring to you on a first name basis, but after today's scintillating lecture, I really felt like we were here. <laughs> my name is Zoya Mabuto. I'm a member of Toastmasters International, and part of what we do at Toastmasters is to is to give feedback on presentations, on speeches, etc. And so I've tasked myself, uh, you know, the job of sharing some of my thoughts around the presentation that you delivered this afternoon. First up, I just want to thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for coming to South Africa. Thank you so much for sharing in what was a thought-provoking, deeply insightful, uh, engaging presentation. I think everybody left that stadium fired up. So what are some of the things that I loved about the presentation? One, I loved how you introed it. I think your use of humor at the very beginning just made us all kind of relax, settle down and go, okay, you know, we're ready to engage. So I loved, I loved the entire structure. In fact, I think you might have used what we call like a problem solution approach. And I think it worked well in terms of really persuading us, getting us to move from one, one way of seeing things for ourselves and potentially considering seeing things from a different angle, from a different viewpoint, etc. So structurally, I think it was absolutely superb. At this point, I'll own up to the fact that I have a little confession to make. And my confession is that up until today, um, you know, I'd never, I'd never experienced the extent of your prowess as an orator. I, I know that you, you're a great speaker, but to be able to experience it as I did today was absolutely enthralling. And so, you know, that was really special for me. The second thing I think you did that worked incredibly well was, you know, to to share your vast knowledge. Uh, it suggested to me, in fact, that you're somebody who's quite well read. And I felt encouraged to go and also just read a little bit more. But beyond that, I think it's your ability to connect the dots that makes you such a force that you can take all of this information and connect the dots, uh, showing how everything can connect and come together. And for me, that was incredibly powerful. One of the other things you did was you used pause effectively. Pause is such a powerful public speaking device because what it does is it allows audiences time to just take in the information that you've shared and to internalize it almost for ourselves, um, you know, in a way that that allows us to kind of go, OK, so what's my take? What's my position on the basis of what's being shared? So your use of pause was absolutely incredible. And I think it gave us moments to reflect on what was being shared um, real time. So I, I now get to the point where I have to find an area of improvement. And whilst I had to dig really, 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 really deep for this, I think the one thing that could have taken the speech to the next level was to really move from what was a generic speech that I think could have been shared with any audience to a speech that had instances of South African contextualization. So you... You know, I, I would have taken the speech and personalized it um, if I if there were instances within the speech where you really were speaking to a South African context and using South African examples. There were two opportunities or missed opportunities, in my view, that would have allowed or lent themselves to this. And the first was when I think you were talking to the fact that we need to start looking at facts. It's important for us to really look at facts. And you made the example of, you know, if you see a podium, somebody else looks at the same podium and says, I see an elephant. And, and how this is often difficult for us to sit at the same table and to start the process of engagement. I think that could have lent itself to, to a comparison uh, with some of the socioeconomic and political conversations we're having in the country around land, around fees must fall, etc. So that was the one area of improvement. Perhaps move it from a more generalized speech to, to including more specific, more contextual examples that can allow us as the audience to really take the speech and own it for ourselves. Apart from that, I think it was an incredibly awe-inspiring speech, as I said, loved the structure, intro body conclusion with that powerful call to action, uh, loved how you shared your knowledge, but also in doing so, connected the dots seamlessly for us. But most of all, how you, when you paused, allow us to take it all in and take it all in, we did. And for that, I just want to say thank you so much. I wish you everything of the best with future speeches.